teach Tim here. I teach and I learn. And learning is a good thing. You know, you and I are left with some deficiencies from the education system we went through. The system was set up for long-term careers, for an unchanging society, and we learned in it. I got a bachelor's degree in college and went off my first career. It didn't quite work so well, so I went back to the system that caused me the first failure, figure that out, and got a second degree. The second time, though, because I had three children working full-time, going back to school full-time to get a certificate the society said I had to have to become a teacher, I went down that road. And in the process, took home study classes, took a little different path in some of my learning, gained all the credits I needed, and graduated. Got extremely high marks. Highly motivated. Motivation is the foundation of what you can and can't learn. That's what made the difference for me. From there, I took on some personal learning projects. Those personal learning projects enabled and empowered me to earn income, set me up for my next career. In fact, I got a job at the district, ideal job at the district office because of the things I learned away from school, not the things I learned at school, only to have my position, the wages frozen a couple of years later. And then a couple years after that, they actually laid me off. There I was. They thought I'd go back to the system that had let me down. By that time, I wasn't going to go that route. So I went, you know, having gotten a good education, I went and got a good job with a corporation. Stock options, had vacation, had pension, really quite wonderful. The company was going great. Then the economy went south, and they pulled away each of those benefits. And pretty soon, I was back where I was before, except for one thing. The personal learning projects that I had been involved in allowed me to personally learn, and then apply those learnings into innovative solutions for customers that I had at home. My home business began to take off. And in that case, I found something that I didn't know before. The creativity that the education system had stifled in me when I was younger began to surface again. I found that the creativity that I enjoyed in finger painting, I could put onto the web. I found that the writing that I had as just a little success with in fourth grade and a little bit a few of the other grades became a passion for me and I enjoyed it and people would read it and like it and in that case I started to discover that you and I can go back to our roots find the message that's in us put it into a creative fashion through innovation get back in touch with who we are through strategic learning skills and then we can empower ourselves forward into the new economy that's what we're faced with the system's not broken it's still doing what it did a hundred years ago, but the society has changed. And how are we ready for that? Are you doing okay with that? I hope you are. And if you're not, look around here. We've got some projects that we're involved in that help others to experience and discover for themselves the things that they can do to gain the freedom that they desire and kind of free themselves from the systems that existed before and the preconditioned learning that they had, the deficiencies that they gained through the educational system as they become personal learners self-directed learners and high achievers on their own right through their high motivation. That's what I can help you with.